How are we going, folks? Welcome back to the Nightmare Cabin. I've got another album review for you. So here we are. We're back with Striper, and we're going to be talking about To Hell with the Amps. So this is an acoustic album by Striper. I did initially think that this was a live album, because I don't know if this came off the back of a short acoustic tour, but they have just done an acoustic tour. So I don't know if that's to promote this or what order it was. Because uh, apparently they did crowdfund this originally. And I think the original version of this album came with a DVD. But because of popular demand, they've given it an official release. But it's just the audio. And I, I was under the impression, f no, through my misunderstanding, not because I was misled or anything. But yeah, I, I did think it was a, a live album. And the live tour that they just did was a continuation of an original one so basically no it's it's not at all this is a uh, studio recording it's just acoustic is all and um not sure if it, it, it could like live as in one take as in two three for, go and it, something like that or they've just re-recorded it who knows but um it doesn't suppose it matters either does it i'm just rambling now but yeah anyway so it's an acoustic album by Striper. You get 11 songs, um, a mixture of old, newish, and, uh, well, you get a, a nice version of Amazing Grace on there. I don't know if Striper had ever recorded that before. Um, I'm quite new-ish when it comes to Striper, so I'm still getting bits and listening to albums and learning about them, but... Um, it's hard to do a bad version of Amazing Grace, um, you know, Every, everyone from Johnny Cash and in between have done it and um, all you have to do really is sing it So, but it is a nicer version of it um, if you remember in my um, last Striper review in fact it wasn't, well it was already reviewed more than an, an initial reaction the proper reviews coming for uh, when we were kings I've said it in my final command review basically I've always said I'm always a little bit meh when it comes to the ballads I'm, I'm off the school of Striper fans to hell with the ballads and um, I always find it to be a little too sickly sweet. And uh, honestly, is one of those sickly sweet songs, which I tend to go, oof, um, skip that one. But honestly, on this, it's really, really good. Um, is it Lady? Or might be Always There For You? Not quite sure. But they were both nice. And then you got you know great songs like Soldiers Under Command, Under Soldiers Under Command, um, No More Hell to Pay, great, um, and Calling on You from To Hell with the Devil as well. Um, yeah, these are. I was a little bit. I wasn't sure what to expect with this actually, and uh, I was. It was a nice surprise. I, I liked it. I basically just thought I'd get it m more out of curiosity and more just to go with the collection, and acoustic albums i'm not i can generally take them or leave them and um but no i enjoyed this a lot more than i thought i was going to and um yeah i'm glad i got it and yeah it's nice to see these songs you know stripped down and played from a different angle so stopgap releases from pretty much what well, so you get live albums cover albums b-side albums re-recording of old songs or re-recording of an album acoustic album from b-sides album aside i think stripe has pretty much done everything they've done second coming that was re-recording of old songs they did the uh covers album can't remember what that was called um obviously they've done loads of live albums yeah and now they've done the acoustic album so all you're getting from now on is just studio albums i'm taking it but <laughs> we'll, we'll see but yeah no really good album i would say it is for completists only i mean it's this isn't for casual fans but i think i think everyone would be more aware of that and um yep yeah, not not that it's bad that it's not a live album it's just not what i thought it was so i'm just pointing out that it isn't but yeah it's a good recording and a good good addition to an ever-expanding great catalog by a great band so Short and sweet, nice and easy. If you are a fan of Striper, probably worth picking up. Maybe wait until September and uh, when a new album comes out and get both. Who knows? However you want to do it. 
Um, if you're a casual listener, probably save it till last. But really good regardless. So yeah, here we go. So Harold Willingham with the Amps by Striper. And that's about all for now. And um, I'll see you on the next review. Thanks a lot. Mate.